Yo, what's going on everybody? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fire thumbnail for your gaming videos. Um, most importantly, Call of Duty, obviously, because that's what I play. So if you play any other game, some of the things I show in this video will be useful to you. But honestly, probably everything, actually. So I would listen up no matter what game you play. And I also am using Photoshop. So just keep that in mind if you use any kind of other software. Some of the stuff I say and do will be helpful, but maybe not all of it, depends on your software. But yeah, let's get into the video. Operators, right? You want your hands to look nice. If you have gloves on your operator, whatever. Don't pick something bad. You want, you know, maybe cool gloves or whatever. Second, your gun skin. We want a cool skin on. It might be a little more extra later on down the line in the thumbnail because you have to do all the colors and blah blah blah. But I promise it will look very good, especially in BO6 when that comes out. Dark Matter, Diamond, all of that. It will look amazing if you follow my steps. So what I do in Modern Warfare 3 is I go to Game Setup. I am going to a private lobby. Um, and also the map, it doesn't really matter because what I'm going to be doing in this video is just have a different background i will cut out the gun so the background does not matter the map does not matter as long as it's nice and bright on your gun that's all that really matters if we go to game rules i'm not sure how it's going to be in bo6 or how it is in modern warfare 2 or any of the call of duties but in modern warfare 3 in order to get no hud what we are going to do is go to game rules press rb or whatever go to gameplay and you see hardcore mode we're going to turn that on and that makes it so we have no hud and when you're doing your thumbnails obviously it's in a custom game so your settings don't really matter if you get low performance because we're just going to be taking a picture so i highly recommend putting your render resolution all the way up to 200 and then put texture resolution at high and your texture filter blah 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 whatever the fuck that says <coughs> now our game looks absolutely amazing even though i'm getting about one frame but once again doesn't matter so let's get into the basics of what i do so if the weapon has a good animation inspection which this mcw actually does i like that a lot see how the gun is almost fully shown in this animation we want that but if that's not the case what i would have you do if your weapon has a horrible inspection or you just don't like it what you can do get a map you can climb on and you see how my gun kind of pops up fully that's where you would take the screenshot and what i use is i use obs because that's where i record my videos and all that other stuff so in OBS, there is a keybind where you can take a screenshot. So that is what I do. So I am going to find a nice place, nice background where I can see my gun fully. And I'm going to inspect. I'm not sure what color I'm going to do for this one. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling red. So I'm going to jump up, inspect. All right. Ah, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Now... I'm going to change my settings back to what they actually were. Alrighty, now that my settings are back to normal, I'm going to open up Photoshop and I'll see you when I'm there. Alrighty, now that we're in Photoshop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new file, make a custom one that is 1280 by 720, just copy everything I have, background contents doesn't matter, and create. Alright, beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do is drag in my picture that we took on Call of Duty. All right, boom, perfect. First things first I like to do is cut out the gun and the hands. But one thing I see already is this number. We're going to get rid of this and this up top, but it doesn't really matter. And actually, I might not do that. So, um, yeah. So what I'm going to grab is a spot healing tool and just highlight all of this all right boom perfect no one really notices any of the little tiny mistakes you make because most people will be seeing it 
like this and not like however big you make it. And I actually chose a poop skin because I'm going to have to do a lot of work to cut this out. But that's okay. I'm going to grab my pen tool. And I actually, I'm not sure what happened here because this kind of looks really weird. I know it's just a gun, but it doesn't look right at all. So, we're going to cut everything out like normal, but I'm going to show you what to do if um, you don't happen to like that either. So yeah, it's going to do it. And it also, it doesn't really matter where you start. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You know, actually, I might not even include that. So what I'm going to do is just kind of make it seem like that's part of the arm. Or maybe he has some bigger, puffier clothes on. And it kind of just dimmers down. Try and make that look as smooth as possible. If you're in the same position as me. But you probably aren't. And also try and get it closest to the edge as possible if you can, but not too close. And you can zoom in really far like I am if you have to, that is. But just note, it will take longer if you zoom in and do it. And also, let me get into the um, keybinds. So to zoom down and up, it's just scroll wheel. To go left and right, it's control scroll wheel. And then to zoom out and in, it's Alt scroll wheel. And I also like to zoom in a bit more when what I'm doing is a little like curvier, like right now, for example. But once again, if you do this the whole way through, it will take a very long time. But once again, that's okay. So don't worry if you're you know, a little bad at this or new, or you just like to take your time because at the end of the day, as long as you enjoy what you do, that's all that matters. And the more effort you put in is good. So just remember that. If you realize it's just a straight line, all you have to do is just zoom out and just boom, boom, boom. But I just noticed now that this, this, um, the MCW has these little bumps here. So I shall just go over those. Once again, this might look a little messy, but I am zoomed in more, so when I zoom out and how everyone will be looking at it, it won't actually look that bad as you might think. But yeah, like I said earlier, it's better to put in a lot of effort so it looks better, and you should just want to, you know? I never really put a much effort into stuff I didn't care about, but this is thankfully not one of them, so... Yeah, the more effort you put in, the better it'll look, most likely, but, you know, that's usually how that works. Also, for future references, if you like the gun, go for it, but if it's hard to do, like this one, for example, and you don't have a lot of time, or you don't feel like putting much effort in, try and find a gun that's really easy, and also don't put scopes on your guns, because then what will happen is... The scope is obviously see-through and then you're gonna have to put more effort into cutting that out so just keep that in mind when you're doing your thumbnails we are almost done so i'm going to zoom out when the lines get really straight and don't change it all so i can do that Alrighty, perfect also make sure to start outside of the picture it just looks better that way and it also confirms that everything is looking clean let's get this part out of the way if you have a stock and your gun doesn't look weird as fuck like it is right now um make sure to cut that out but what i'm gonna do is instead of you know tracing all this and that i'm just gonna start i'm gonna press Control z to delete that and boom if your stock looks normal your gun looks normal trace everything like I normally did but for this I am actually just gonna pull the gun back so you don't see any of this in the thumbnail and you'll see what I talk about later in the video but yeah we are just gonna continue on doing everything normally so I'm gonna cut out the hands here make sure to get that little last part all right zoom out boom 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 
Now I shall do this side of the hand. Also, if you're questioning how I'm going to do this, don't. I will tell you later on. It's the same thing like with the scope. You're just going to have to cut it out after the first selection. And also, if you have a scope already and you didn't know, it's okay. Don't worry. You can still easily cut it out. So don't worry about that. I'm going to continue doing this. And I'm not going to worry about whatever texture this 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 like arm is. I'm just going to cut all of it out. If you want to keep it in, go for it, but no one really notices it's out and it's just more effort you have to put in. And it also probably won't even look good anyway. So I'm going to try and make this look as realistic as possible. Okay, perfect. So now, once I've done all of that, I will click boom connect all of that all right and now that we have the main part all set and done it should look something like this and since i zoomed in a lot more during these areas you can see they're very close to each other when i zoom out so now i'm just going to right click do make selection make sure this is a the feather feather radius is kind of smoothening the outside edges out so you can do one if you want i'll do one and boom now that we have that we're going to press Control j on our keyboard and that will set out the new layer. And as you can see, since I put effort in, this looks very nice instead of just a straight line that'll make it look a little worse. As you can also tell right there, boom. So, now I'm gonna do a whole other selection that cuts out this and these little tiny parts you see up here. So let's get into that now. Once again, starting at the edges and working our way up. Also, don't worry about the time or anything. You're doing just fine. If it takes you a while, that's okay. Just pause the video if you're having any struggles. So now it's all set and done once again. I'm gonna right click, make selection, and delete. Now that that's gone, we shall make another one. You could zoom in as close as possible to get closest to the edge. Boom, make selection, boom, delete. And as you can see, these little things you see right here, that's what feather does. So if I didn't have one feather on, you would just see the white scores all in this selection. But feather smooths that out, so you don't have those rough edges. I'm going to do this one more. Same thing we've always done. Connect the lines, right click, make new selection, feather radius 1, and boom, delete. Perfect. And I'm not sure why the marker keeps showing up that is quite annoying if this shows up all you're gonna do is press ctrl j click on it and delete that so now that line disappears perfect all right we have our gun outlined let's go woohoo we did it all right so once again like i said earlier we have all this poopy doesn't matter we're gonna pull it back so no one even sees a thing Boom, beautiful. And also on your thumbnails, it's definitely better to have a bigger gun. This is a little too big though, I'd say. I'm gonna make it just a little smaller. Boom, perfect. All right, sweet. So now we're gonna add our background in. I just go to, you know, Google, whatever you use. And I also suggest making folders for this, so your stuff's a little more organized, stuff for YouTube, stuff for thumbnails, boom, this is where I put everything I do. I decided I'm going to use this image, and if you're downloading images, you know, right, backgrounds off the internet, just be wary of the resolution size. See, this is very fucking small. It won't work, because when we make it larger, you see the, the background, like the quality is very dog shit, very pixelated. So we're going to get rid of that. Now, what we're going to do... We're gonna drag our image, unlock it, drag our image, boom, and plop, right there. Once again, make sure it's under the gun, so the gun appears over it. All right, perfect. 
And one thing I forgot to mention earlier, if you like vibrance or, you know, black and white or whatever you want to do for your thumbnail, just click this button down here and we can add vibrance, hue, saturation. So let's say I want my gun a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more saturated. Boom, we can do that. Perfect. Voila. And we're going to link that to the gun. So we're going to press Alt and boom. But if you like vibrance on both the background and the gun, you don't have to connect it. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. We can always add vibrance to just this layer later on. So I'm just going to click on the white box, Alt, and make sure it's around this edge so it actually works. And boom, we're going to link it to the gun only. And you'll see that works because it underlines the layer one. So boom, voila, we have our background. And I know what some people like to do is let's select our background, go to filter, and then we're going to go to blur and do radio blur. We're going to set the amount to either 9 or 10. You can mess around with that if you want it more blurry. We're going to click zoom and best. Now our background is a little blurry. Um, I actually like this background. I find it very beautiful and I don't want it to be blurred at all. I want it to be seen fully. So I shall keep that like that. Also, um, I'm not really sure the vibes are matching with the green and blue with red. So what I'm going to do is once again, I'm going to click this. Let's change maybe the hue and saturation this time. Kind of click Alt and click on that. So we are attached to this layer essentially. I'm just going to mess around with the hues, see what color I like. Ooh, I like that one. Um, just try and find something that matches. Maybe follow like the color wheel, whatever the corresponding colors that make, you know, red look better or whatever your gun color is, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go with this. I like this. I like it when the grass kind of matches the gun. I don't really care about the sky. Very beautiful though. So now that we have all that said and done, I think I'm also going to add a vibrance as well. Remember, click on the box, alt click. Mess around with the vibrance, make it more colorful, saturation. I like it like that. Boom. Perfect. Alrighty. I'm just going to caption these layers CC because they're just color correction. We'll just do it to this one. But yeah. Also, if you need any suggestions for your backgrounds, and if you're a Call of Duty player, I would suggest going to Call of Duty Maps. Just search that up on the internet. It'll pull up a bunch of maps from Call of Duties, then you could download those. But now we're going to move on to the lighting and brightness. Now we're going to move on to kind of more of the gun, just making it look better, make it pop more. So what I do is click on layer one, our gun. This button right here will add a new layer and it is already linked to the gun only. And I'm going to go with overlay. Now we're going to use our brush tool. So we're going to press B and boom, make sure this is on white. And we're just going to ever so slightly make the gun more bright. Kind of make it pop more. As if like there's sun on it. Kind of looks weird with the background because obviously I don't think there's really any light source at all <laughs> but yeah and we can also experiment if you want it lighter screen like I said that'll be very bright lighten darken you know whatever mess with it find what you like but just know I usually use overlay because we don't want it to be too colorful too bright you know I'm actually going to go in some more press B for my brush tool to come out Just kind of make it known that there really is light shown because right now it doesn't really look like it and we can also do our hands as well so and try not to make it too light you know 
and try not to make it too bright because it'll look weird in the end and i also suggest tapping it and not going you know doing it once because let's say you made a mistake right there you're going to press alt z and it's going to get rid of all your work so just tap it sometimes you know take breaks don't do it all at one time But yeah, there's the lighting done essentially. I missed a part, so let me go back and do that. All right, perfect, that looks great. I'm actually gonna add just a bit more to the end here. Also, once again, don't go fully just one time because if you make a mistake, obviously you're going to have to undo the whole thing and do it over again. See why I'm tapping right now because I'm not too sure I like this, but who knows. Um, yeah, I don't really like it on the hand right now, but boom, that kind of looks a bit better. Once again, you can just mess around with it, do what you like. At the end of the day, it is preference, but I suggest um, following me or something close to me because I think it's the best. All right, so now what we're going to do is I feel like our gun should be popping more, just a little bit, just a little bit more glow. So what I'm going to do, click boom, layer, add a new overlay. I think I'm going to make it go... I guess we can try it with the CC. See how it's under the CC? That means it will be affected by it. And if it's over, it won't. So what I do is I'm going to make it screen. And then 40%. You can mess around with that. but And I'm going to go to color picker. And I'm going to find like the brightest color in here. Which is going to be like a nice little orange. So now I have that colored. I'm going to press B for brush again. I'm just going to go into all these spots and kind of make it brighter. You know, I feel like it should be just a little bit more bright. Ah, there we go. There we go. I might make it 100. I don't know yet. Yeah, that looks that looks better. That looks better. And I'm essentially just going to go and do all these orange spots on the camo and just go over them. And you can also do multiple clicks at a time to make it more glowy, more bright, you know, as you see here. I really like that, yeah. I'm actually going to do that for the other ones I went past by. Just going to click multiple times. Beautiful. It looks very good so far. So I'm going to continue doing that. And you can make the brush bigger if you like. I just like going small, just like my Pete. And also, this kind of depends on the camo you have. Since I'm using the lava one, it has a strange pattern to it that you have to mess around with a lot. And it can be annoying, but I like this camo. It's cool. I also might mess with a little bit of the glow on the dark red parts, but I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to press B. Um, it doesn't really do anything, so I'm going to not mess with that. <laughs> Let's see how it turned out. Beautiful. And then another thing you could do, let's say you have like a diamond camo. If you went over it with like yellow, obviously because it's diamond, it'll have some gold in it. We can add a another layer. And that will be layer five. Also, we can see our work real quick. See how much better that looks? Really adds a nice glow. Beautiful. So for layer five, what we can do, we can put it on overlay 100 and just go over the area with a nice white and just make it a little bit more brighter. I might go with like a yellow.
just to really make sure the colors are popping and glowing make it look nice and good but yeah just go over everything once again just really making sure it's popping glowing because it really does make it look a lot better I can't lie and I might have used a bad operator <laughs> for this because it's just you know actually I don't know And I'm also not holding, I'm just tapping once again, just in case we make a mistake. You don't have to repeat the whole process over again. We can just press Control Z once. But yeah, I feel like we got most of the gun done. I'm just gonna touch up these last parts here. Make sure we get this area. Huh. That looks a lot better. Maybe we made it a little too bright. Once again, you can just go over it, you know, test around, change the opacity even if you don't like the glow. But I'm a big fan and I think it matches the camo a lot. So I will keep it. Let's see how it turns out. We can turn it off, turn all the layers off to see all our hard work. This is the outer lighting. This is kind of the inner glow. And then this is the outer glow. Looks really nice. Maybe I made it a little too light. But yeah, like I said, if you don't like the glow, you don't have to make it that bright or you don't have to do it at all. But I like it a lot, so I'm going to keep it. What I like doing if the gun has glow, I like kind of proving that by adding some to the hands and whatnot, whatever's close to the gun. So once again, I am going to make a new layer. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with screen 40 because we don't want to be too bright on the hands. We don't want it to be unrealistic but like I did the first time I'm going to go to the eyedropper tool and go to the brightest kind of glow we have here I want to make it a little darker though make it a little more realistic boom like that then I'm gonna press B for my brush tool and do something like this and we could scroll out boom see how beautiful that is Beautiful. Look at how good that looks. Now we can go over here and do that. Also, don't make it like I've done this many times in my thumbnails. It looks really bad. Don't be lazy and like, you know, because it obviously doesn't look good. Make the make the glow more realistic. Yeah, perfect. Alright, I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> let's make it realistic. Boom, perfect. See how much better and more realistic that looks? Like, let me make it like an actual thumbnail, like how you'd be seeing it at most. Like, it looks so much better. Maybe this is a little too much. And essentially what I'm doing is when I swap these colors to black, I'm pretty sure it erases what I'm doing. It's not just actually the color black. Like, see when I do this, it's not making it black. It's just erasing the effect I did. So now when I zoom out, boom, it'll look a lot better. Perfect, all right. So now the most important part, I might actually, I'm gonna get into the background first and mess around with the colors of that. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to make this edge of the planet just a little brighter because it is looking a bit dull. Boom. Perfect. Also, might do some of that. All right, looks a lot better. Also, we can add some of that to the clouds, kind of make them glow a little bit. I really love glow, if you can tell. I think it just makes it look so much more beautiful and just a lot better. 
looking more pleasing to look at gives your videos more clicks obviously when the thumbnail looks very good you don't have to it's just preference but my opinion looks a lot better and I'm gonna do that just a few more times over here again mess around with whatever you want on this side you don't have to do normal um, actually I'm pretty sure I made that screen <laughs> but this actually came out good so I'm not gonna change it in screen it is very bright so I would suggest maybe not using that for things like this and just use overlay or normal like I'm doing right now because once again make it a little realistic at least we don't want it to be too bright but yeah boom perfect so I might mess around with AI a little bit for the background obviously I don't think there's copyright with that maybe just let the viewers know in the description the background the thumbnail includes a little bit of AI if you don't already have this bar you're gonna go to window and boom contextual task bar so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our lasso tool if you want it to be like very precise go to press right click and go to actual lasso tool and let's say I'm not sure what I'm gonna add I might add a Sun actually I think that'll go uh, I think that'll go beautifully with the gun so I am going to start on the outside and let's say I think I want it to be about that big go on the outside cover everything boom generative fill I'm gonna add like bright glow sun I don't know you can mess around with it <laughs> well, I actually never used these suns I'm showing right now I actually at the end of the video I didn't show it because I didn't record it but I just added like green clouds so once again it's just preference do whatever you want but yeah just letting you know I didn't actually fully commit to the sun idea even though it kind of looks cool also if you're wondering why it's doing you know going blue it's because the hue and saturation I have right here, that's what makes the background look the way it does. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the top here, right click, flatten image, press OK. Unlock the background, click on layer, control shift A. This, my friends, opens up camera raw. This is a whole other topic we could be talking about, but basically just think of this as enhance like color correction whatever you can mess around with this however you want you know i usually do like a 38 on texture once again it, it kind of depends on the skin or whatever you're using i actually like this to be like that and then um hmm. i don't want this to be like a really like precise you could say looking thumbnail i want it to be a little blurry glow pop in um it is harder because the background is so weird but i'm just gonna make it like really stand out because this is a tutorial and i want people in case people are like the extreme of the extreme they want to make something really funky like this i wanted to do that to show them how but yeah all these tips you can pretty much use with any of your thumbnails just get creative get funky but yeah here's the before and after of the background i guess i could show y'all <laughs> but yeah at the end of the day i just really hope you enjoy what you do and you're happy doing it because that's all that matters but yeah key takeaways if you're adding glow make sure it's realistic like this don't make it too you know over the edge because then it'll look really weird but yeah we added our little white outline one thing we could have done is added a little drop shadow to this but it, it doesn't really matter you can do what you want you know but yeah if you want more tutorials if anything just ask i'm sure i can make it or at least help you find what you're looking for but yeah here's the thumbnail and i really hope you enjoyed 
If you have any feedback for me or any questions, please comment down below. I'll make sure to respond. And I love y'all.